Hey guys! So today we're going to do some striping on this lovely nail um, and I'm using a silver striping, it's just a thin striping that I bought off eBay and I've got a casualty on my thumb and I've ruined one of my nails. I love these nails that I did and there I filed it. So I'm going to use backing paper, uh, for those of you who don't know, because I didn't know in the beginning, backing paper is the back of your forms. I'm going to use a Urban Graffiti Artemitas uh, gel polish, first of all. It is a silver glitter one, which I absolutely love. It's got kind of little purple flakes in it as well. So I'm just going to pop that on the backing paper and use a very thin and tiny detail brush. Um, I can't remember where I got this one from. I have no idea to be honest with you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a little triangle shape onto the nail. So I am not um, trained in the hand painting thing yet, shall I say. So to do the triangle I just pull the line down the middle and then try and fill in the back end of it to try and get that triangle. I'm not very good at it. But practice makes perfect, they say, so I shall continue practicing this. Okay, and now that I've done that, I'm going to cure that lovely glitter gel, and then we're going to do our striping. Just look at that. Absolutely lush. Right, now that I've cured it, we're going to take the striping, and I've left this in real time because I want to see you guys that I do struggle with it. Um, but I'll show you the way that I do it. So I'm going to do the line on the side there. Now the way that I do it is I always take a piece that's longer than required. Um, the striping tape is very cheap so I'm not too bothered about wastage on it. So as you can see it's quite long compared to the tiniest little piece that I need. So I'm just going to stick it onto Sally's nail there. And Sally is my um, lovely silicone hand, for those of you who don't know or haven't met her yet. So I just stick it on and then if it's not in the correct place, I just pick it up on those extra long pieces. And you can see it is very fiddly to work with the striping tape. Sometimes very frustrating as well, to be honest. Um, and then I use one of my silicone tools. Um, I bought this one off Nail Nails. I bought the whole set and I'll just make sure that it is super, super flat. So I'm just running the silicone tool along it to make sure that it sticks properly in all areas. Because the last thing you need is for that to lift. Then I'm going to take my tiniest scissor. Just look how sharp that scissor is. I love this. This one is all the way from Italy and it is super fine. My favorite for cuticle cutting. Right, and all I'm going to do now is I need to cut that line and cut it in the right place. And this is why I like to use the sharp scissors because <clears throat> then it will be in the perfect spot. So as you can see, I just go in the back there and you want to cut it slightly shorter than the edge of wherever you're going to put it. So you need to make it slightly shorter because otherwise, even if you top coat it, it will lift eventually um, or it will stick out. So there's the one little stripey on already, forms a nice edge as you can see and you can see that I've cut it just the tiniest bit shorter. Zoom camera! There you go. Oh well, you saw a very quick glimpse of it there. Then I'm going to do the silicone tool again just to make sure it's still flat because obviously I picked up the one edge to cut it off. So just running that over it again to make sure. And then I'm going to do the other side. So I do do, I do do, I do do, I do put on my top coat first before I actually do my striping. So you can see how fiddly it is. I'm struggling to get this one on perfectly. It's probably also the angle that I was working at. So I'm not going to make excuses. It is fiddly work and then of course when you lose that end girls we all know about that thank heavens I don't have a nail on my thumb and I could find it easy enough but if that thumbnail was there I would have had all kinds of problems right so I'm just cutting off another piece and I'm gonna give it another go and so I left my failed attempt in so you guys can see it's real to struggle there's nothing more frustrating than watching a tutorial and everything is perfect and you tried and it's just a bloody mess. 
Okay, silicone tool in again, and I'm just going to run it along the stripe just to make sure that I get it in everywhere. And run it along, and just make sure it's super, super flat and it sticks down well enough. Then I'm going to cut it again, again slightly shorter. And girls, when I say slightly shorter, I do like maybe a millimeter, half a millimeter shorter than what it should be. Um, going in from the other side, and this is normally the tricky side if you're going to make a triangle to make sure you get that line perfect. Well, I like it to be perfect. Take that piece off and go over the silicone with the silicone tool again. And just make sure everything is super super flat and if it's not believe me girls I will peel it off and I will just do it again rather that than the regret in a bit when it's not perfect so there you can see when the camera focuses. this there you go lovely jubbly I love it such a quick and easy thing to do I'm just gonna top coat it and then I'm going to pop it in the lamp, cure it, as you can see, you can now rub over it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another line to it. So I could have done the other line before I did the top coat, but I kind of decided after the fact that I wanted to put the additional line in there. So I'm just lying it down. Again, you can, you, again, you can see it's longer than what it should be. And this is just so that I've got two ends to work with that I can pull it and duck it and lift it and do whatever I want to do with it until I get it in the right spot. So when I feel it's in the right spot, I'll go with a silicone tool and see, see the beauty of actually having the two ends. So I'm holding the one, lifting the other one and then straightening it because it was ever so slightly wobbly. Go down with a silicone tool just make sure it's stuck down properly and then I can come in with my scissors and cut it off again. So pick up the back end of it and just pull it up to loosen it up to where I want to cut it and tiny tiny scissors cut it off and then that side's done. And when you work to the edge, which is why I wanted to show you guys this, um, my first few times I cut it off right on the edge, but then it seems to lift as, as your client uses their nails, or as I was using my nails, it seemed to lift on the edge and got all frayed. So now I cut it um, so that it is just short, and again, like a millimeter, half a millimeter shorter. When the camera focuses, you'll see. Yeah? Yes. And there you go. So now at least when you top coat it and through use and abuse of the nails, you won't see that. And there you go. Striping is done. Thank you ever so much for watching, you lovely girls. Um, if you do like this video, please uh, go and subscribe or you can come and follow me on Instagram. Love y'all.